Hi everyone, Dr. Goyle here from Peak Human Labs videos and today I want to give you a little bit of a talk about ketones. You know, I'm just finished my day and I'm trying to avoid eating for a couple hours and I'm getting a bit of a headache. Uh, and I'm having my exogenous ketone right here. You can see a ketone water. I thought, you know, why not just give you a little quick video on that and um, and we'll get started. So what are ketones? First, first of all, ketones are a molecule that's produced uh, by your body uh, in specific situations. So uh, when your body's starving or fasting or there's extreme exercise or uh, lack of calories, your, body's, your body will take the fat uh, that you have in your body. So your liver will t break down the fat and produce some ketone bodies. And these ketones uh, are three different types of ketones. One is called BHB, beta hydroxybutyrate. Uh, the second one is um, acetoacetate, also ACAC. And the third one is acetone. And acetone you may have heard of is uh, has um, a fruity smell. So people who are fasting, you might notice, have a fruity smell on their breath. That's because acetone's coming out off from their lungs. So these um, ketone bodies serve a purpose, and you know because your body still needs energy, and uh, so when you're fasting, your body's still able to produce energy so that your cells can still function. This is especially important for the brain because the brain, as you know, um, is only two percent of your body weight, but requires, if you can believe it. 20% of your energy needs. So it's so metabolically active and requires constant energy. You can imagine that you could not, your brain could not go without energy, otherwise you'd be dead. So um, this mechanism was created in effect to create this, uh, this ketones so the body could keep going even in case of starvation or less food. Um, normally, glucose is the main fuel for the body and the brain but uh, the brain is equally happy with ketones and it seems to have a lot of benefits for the for the brain as well it appears um, there are certain situations that in the brain where there are problems with glucose uptake so normally this is done by a receptor called glute so this receptor allows glucose to come into the brain but there are certain conditions where there's problems with the uptake of glucose. Uh, for example, in Alzheimer's disease, there's less glucose that's being taken up by the cells. Or after a head injury, it appears that there's a state of less glucose coming into the brain. In that case, you can imagine that the brain is starving for energy and that can cause all types of havoc if the neurons don't have enough energy to fuel the functions they need to do. So that's where ketones come in because the ketone function of uptake of energy is not affected. It doesn't seem to be affected. And that's why people are using exogenous ketones to help. Uh, it looks to, there appears to be some research that exogenous ketones can help with that kind of brain fog that happens when you don't eat. Um, you know, and your and you need some extra energy, and you see, and your brain needs some extra energy. Uh, normally, you know, we're, our body's not that used to producing ketones unless we're really fasting. Um, so it appears that this exogenous ketones could have a utility for number of brain conditions uh, and help you get through your fast uh, without some of those, um, you know, brain fog and headache symptoms. So I hope this helps. That's the first step today. We're just going to talk about ketones. Um, and next time I'm going to talk about the research that shows uh, that exogenous ketones and how do they help the brain. And we'll take it from there. Anyways, have a great night. Take care. Bye.